the East Nusa Tenggara province is indeed renowned for its natural beauty, ranging from the sea, expansive sandy beaches, to various kinds of animals. When vacationing there, you feel as if you need a long time, because NTT truly holds an endless paradise. If you go on vacation to Labuan Bajo, don't just visit mainstream destinations like Komodo Island or Pada Island. You can also explore other places like Kalong Island. Welcome back, subscribers of the Tropical Wildlife Channel. For those who haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to support the growth of this channel. All right, in today's video, we'll discuss how the Komodo dragon survives by feeding on carcasses. The Komodo dragon, or Komodo, Varanus komodoensis, is a giant reptile that is the largest species of lizard in the world and is only found on a few islands in Indonesia, primarily on Komodo Island. One unique survival strategy of the Komodo is its ability to feed on carcasses. Firstly, although Komodos are known as predators, they also have the capability to be scavengers. This allows them to utilize deceased food sources, which can be a crucial nutritional source when live prey is hard to come by. Secondly, in their natural habitat, food sources can become scarce, especially during certain seasons. Therefore, scavenging provides the Komodo with the necessary energy and nutrients required for survival. Thirdly, consuming carcasses also allows the Komodo to recycle nutrients within the ecosystem. By feeding on carcasses, they help reduce the buildup of organic waste and accelerate the decomposition process which is essential for maintaining ecosystem balance. Fourthly, the Komodo's sharp olfactory senses enable it to detect carcasses from a distance. They possess a tongue that can pick up scents from afar, facilitating their ability to locate hidden or buried carcasses. Fifthly, while consuming carcasses, Komodos still require water to survive. By feeding on carcasses, they also obtain moisture from any water content present in the flesh, aiding in their hydration in the dry environment. Sixthly, the carnivorous nature of the Komodo is not limited solely to live prey. With the ability to feed on carcasses, they possess an adaptive advantage that allows them to survive in situations where live prey is unavailable. Seventhly, Feeding on carcasses can also be a tactic to avoid competition with other species. By focusing attention on carcasses, Komodos can evade battles or conflicts with other species that might compete for the same food sources. Lastly, the presence of Komodos in the ecosystem of the islands where they reside highlights their vital role in maintaining natural balance. By being scavengers, they play a crucial role in the nutrient cycle and ecology of these islands, making them a vital component of their respective ecosystems.